Hello guys, it's Julia. So in this video, I show something that happened to me recently. Now this wasn't too long ago. This was around the beginning of the month, I believe, of January 2023. And you guys will see what happened to my server computer, which let me tell you guys a brief explanation before you see this next clip. So one day I was just laying down in my room and I needed to connect to my computer to like get a file or something. And when I opened this PC, I noticed that my storage drive was not loading. And I was like, uh, why is it not working? Even though I wasn't trying to access it, I noticed it wasn't working. So I tried clicking on it and pretty much it said, the device is not ready. And I was like, what? What do you mean the device is not ready? And I was freaking out a bit thinking, oh no, did like my hard drive fail or something? I tried remoting into the server through RDP and it was just giving me some weird error. I forgot what it said, but basically saying a network error or something from what I remember. I'll pull up screenshots while I'm talking about this, but basically it did that. And I tried another remote software and it wasn't really wanting to work either. I did tell it though to reboot the server, which after I did that, it was not coming online, so then I tried to go over physically to the server, but I couldn't due to the door being locked, so I just had to give up. And then later I decided to, you know, see if it was back up. And sure enough, after like 30 minutes, the server came back online magically, and I was like, what? And it was still saying the same thing, I believe, when I tried to access the drive, or it was just not working at all. And I tried remoting again, same error. And then the one remote software that did actually work was called DW Service, which I went on there and I went on the server, which obviously it was a very bad resolution because it was like 640 by 480, I believe. So it was really hard to use, but I did manage to go on that and the drive was not showing up. It was just not there. And even on the remote software I was looking at before I connected, it wasn't even showing it was there either. So the drive pretty much disappeared. I tried opening Crystal Disk Info, it wasn't opening, it would just refuse and not do anything, and Event Viewer had a ton of errors to do with the disk, and I was a bit freaked out, and I was like, okay, I'm shutting it down. So I shut the computer down, or the server down, I should say, for the night, because I'm like, I'll deal with this tomorrow. And I was a bit freaked out, couldn't sleep very well because I felt like, my drive failed and I was like, I have so many things on there, I can't have this fail. Like, I really hope that didn't happen. But I wasn't sure because, you know, it seemed that way, but it could be anything. So, the next day, I opened up the server. And this picture you're about to see is what I first saw. Yep, there was literally a ton of scraps from a mouse that was in there. AKA, it pretty much just was living inside of there, trying to nest in there. And I was a bit freaked out. I did pull out my storage drive immediately after that and was like, okay, maybe something's wrong with the computer itself, not the drive by looking at this. So I decided after I pulled the drive out, I put it in my computer. Now at first I put it into like that dock I have to put drives in, but it was showing up weird. And I found out the reason it did this was because that dock couldn't support six terabytes. So then I took it out of the dock, I put it in my actual computer. Thankfully, it showed up, so I was like, okay, good. And I did check with like Crystal Disk Info and stuff. The drive's in perfect condition, there's no problems with it. And I was relieved to hear and see that because I was like, okay, good, everything's working, it's showing up, it's not reporting any issues, I'm good to go. So something's wrong with the server itself. And I kind of knew that after I opened it, I had a feeling because it obviously had a mouse living inside of it. And the next video you're gonna see is me showing it in detail, me talking about it, me cleaning it, and as well as me testing it. So that's pretty much what this video is going to be about. So you guys will see what happens with it while watching the video. But it really scared me when my storage drive wasn't showing up at first in that server, but Obviously, if it worked in another computer, I knew it wasn't the drive, which I'm not going to put it back in there because I don't trust it being in there. So, yeah, I have a feeling the SATA controller might have gotten a bit damaged or something like that. But you'll see these videos. So, 
enough intro and talking about this, time to actually see the videos, but I just had to make this before since I didn't obviously record all of that, but I did take screenshots, but background information is definitely important for this. Anyways, let's get started. All right, guys, so this is my server, which is a Precision T1700, if you guys can see that right there. And I was having many issues with it. I open it up and this is what I see. Yep, a mouse managed to get into this computer and poop all over it, and it even peed on the GPU. Yeah, this thing peed on the GPU. You can literally see yellow, I'm pretty sure, in there. And you can also see the the mouse shit in there too. Like, what in the actual crap? Why? Like, this is just disgusting. Like, I don't even know if this is recoverable. I thought my hard drive failed because of this. But luckily it's fine, it was all good. And the SSD was also fine, which I did remove both of them, by the way, because I'm going to use some compressed air, and I'm going to just clean out this entire thing, because this is absolutely disgusting. I mean, look at this shit. This is so nasty. Like, ew. That's just gross. So... Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be cleaning this now. I will show you guys after I clean it, but this is not a video I expected to make on this channel at all. But, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it, it might have corrupted the server's install. I don't know. It was having so many issues, unless it's the SATA controller that's messed up. But, I'm gonna clean this sh and I'll be back. This is just unbelievable, though. Like, really? A mouse? Like, I saw that mouse in our house, like, a month or two ago. Tried to catch it. It managed to escape the mouse trap, and apparently it was living in my server. That's just great. Unbelievable. So, guys, I spent time cleaning this. It looks way better. All the stuff is gone. I did remove all the PCIe cards because I don't think they're really necessary. I don't really need them in the server. But everything is looking much cleaner, as you can see. Everything's looking good. I'm hoping that the server will still work. I have to put these back in, though, the SATA cables, which I did clean them. They look fine, so I'm going to put them back in here. I'm probably not going to hook up all the drives again, though. I'm probably going to keep the storage drive in my main system. I'm probably not going to put it back in here, honestly. But, you guys could see... It looks like it's good. I am going to put something here to cover this, or find the covers for this. So that way it doesn't get back inside in any way. I will show you guys the cards, though. I think the GPU is fried because... You guys could see that it peed on it, I'm pretty sure. And there's poop on it. Well, I think I got the poop off, but like you could see there's these spots all over it. So it most likely peed on it and pooped on it. And this drive isn't, not this drive, this GPU isn't the best anyway. It's like some Quadro GPU and I never used it, but it's pretty much a goner, I would say for sure. That's just disgusting. But, yeah, this is most likely gone. This one's probably fine, but I don't need cereal. So, I'm just not even going to bother putting this back in. Because I don't need it. At all. So, I will just cover this up to make sure that it can't get back in here. But, you guys can see, it definitely looks better than it did before. And I'm hoping that the server will be recoverable. Because if not, that's not going to be good at all. And I did slightly, you know, I cleaned this. I also used compressed air. I uh, cleaned all this. It looks much better. The other side is also clean because I wiped it down. But we will try this and see if it works. I'll probably just put the SSD back in for now, just to see. So guys, this is the side panel. I also am going to clean this as well, but it looks kind of dirty, as you can see. This is completely clean, so that's good. So I will clean this. 
time for another episode of cleaning my main computer now. You guys can see this is really dirty in here and really dusty. It hasn't been cleaned in a year. There's like so much dust and debris in my system that it's insane. And if I move this over, you guys can see my main is extremely dusty. There's just a ton of dirt all over everything in here. So I've decided I'm gonna clean my main as well. I might as well. Plus I don't wanna put my hard drive in such a dirty computer. Like, oh my God, let me move this. This is just, cheese, too much. All right, I'm gonna clean this. All right, guys, so I mostly cleaned it. As you guys can see, there's a lot less. There's still a little. It's hard to get all of it because some of it's stuck. I did also wipe it down too with some alcohol stuff for computers. But you guys could see it looks much better. It's a little dusty still back here. I can't completely get it, but I've noticed something. This looks like it's out of place because if I push this, you could see it like, it, it does that, so I don't know why it's doing this. Maybe the motherboard isn't screwed in all the way or something. I'm not sure, it's kind of weird, but this actually was, you know, a nice cleaning of my system. So I'm gonna turn it around. I'll show you guys the other side, hold on. All right guys, so this is the other side. It's a lot cleaner, like I said. GPU still has a little bit of dust, I feel like, but it's mostly fine can't get all of it but I might spray it down just a bit more with some stuff but I think a lot of it's also stuck on there too so I might not be able to get every single piece of dirt off but as long as it's mostly clean it should be good fan looking pretty much mostly good I noticed there's still a plastic piece on this that I never took off when you first get it so I took it off I can't believe that was on there since like I got it back in May 2019, but like I said, a little bit of dirt, but it's mostly clean. So I'm going to put, bring this back, but today's been a, a crazy cleaning day, but at least this one didn't have a mouse living inside of it. In fact, there's no way for it to get inside this computer either. And I, ha I did take off the side panel earlier today. So that's been on the system the entire time until today. So, yeah, and I noticed this GPU's kind of got that sag. I don't really think there was a way to fix that, but I mean, this is an old computer. Hopefully it'll last me longer. I mean, it's working fine, but I just, I wanted to clean it again because it's been a year since I last cleaned it in January, 2022, and now it's January, 2023. So new year, new cleaning. In fact, I probably will clean the other server as well, but I don't know if that'll be in this video or not. So yeah. That's that. All right, guys, so it's been like, probably like five, six days, I don't know, since this whole incident happened, basically almost a week. I've not had time to record, nor a good time to record. So that's why it took me so long. But I have the computer here, well, I should say the server, which is mostly clean. I did clean it out a little bit more since you guys last saw it. It definitely looks better. I still need to find these PCIe covers, which I'm gonna be looking for those. I have no clue where they are. I'm gonna have to like look through all my drawers and stuff, but I know I must have them somewhere. So I will look for them if this does actually work and I do put it back in production. Although, like I said, I don't know if it's going to, I hope so, but we'll just have to see. This looks bent for some reason, unless that's just me, I don't know, but. We're going to put this back. I am going to put the GPU, which I will say I cleaned the GPU. Um, it looks much cleaner. I used that like alcohol stuff that you use on cleaning electronics and a brush and I brushed it off. I'm pretty sure most of it's off. There might be a little bit still on there that wouldn't come off, but I got it majority clean. But these pins though, like had stuff on them, which makes me believe that it got in the PCIe slots. So I'm not entirely sure if this GPU will work or if the system will work, but this is the video of me testing the system to see if it works. So hopefully, hopefully it does. I'm not gonna put the storage drive back. I'm just gonna put the SSD back, not the storage drive, because 
I'd rather just keep my storage drive in my desktop if I have to be honest. I don't really want to put it back in here after what happened. But I'm going to put the GPU back in and I'll come back once the GPU is back in here. Okay, so I decided to put the GPU down here instead of in this blue slot because this slot might be damaged since, you know, it looked like there was liquid on the pins. I didn't want to put it back in the same slot. So I put it on the lower slot. Yes, I know it has a fan and it might, you know, blow air there, but I mean, the GPU isn't really used in the server. It's kind of just there because it doesn't have integrated graphics on this. So we just have the GPU in here. Cause you know, this is a server. I might be able to get away with taking it out, but I'm not sure. Cause then it wouldn't have any sort of GPU at all in a system. So I'm not sure if that would work or work properly at least. But I did put the SSD back. I just put it back in the same spot it was in. I know it's not really hooked up nicely. I might, you know, adjust it, but this is just for testing purposes to see if the system even works because I don't even know if it works. We're gonna plug it up over here. I have a power cable, DVI, a mouse, a keyboard, and we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna see if we can get any output. So let me hook the system up then. Now, right now I have everything with the power connected because I wanted to do that in the video. But I will say this card I didn't put back in. We don't need cereal. It's not important. So let's plug it back in. I'm kind of scared. There is a light. It's getting power. I'm not sure if that's. Is the system on? It's on. System's on. Huh? Are we gonna get any output? Sound like it turned off. Uh oh. I saw orange. Hold on. I'm watching the monitor as well to see if it lights up at all. But this isn't looking good. The system's not wanting to power on. Well, it is powering on, but I don't think it's posting. It just turned off. It's turning back on again. It's just powering on and off. And there's nothing on the monitor. Also, while it's doing that... Wait, 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 wait. Is it powering on? Really? Okay, CMOS is bad. Okay. Um... Let's go to the BIOS. The thing is running. So, probably not an updated BIOS, but that's completely fine with me. It sees the GPU. The GPU is actually working because I have this connected to the GPU. Is it detecting? The mouse isn't working. That's so weird. So I can't like scroll down. I don't know if this is detecting the SSD. But you could see it's... This doesn't even have built-in graphics. I don't know why it's, you know, showing that, but I'm just going through the settings because I don't know, why not? I don't know if it's detecting the drive. It's, and I don't even, okay. For some reason, let's see if we can go to the system log. Undefined error code. But those were before. The system memory has changed. There, there isn't really much in here. Um, let's go all the way back. What, wait, what's cloud desktop? Huh? That's interesting. I don't know what that is, but that's quite interesting. Um, let's go all the way back up here and see it. For the system info, can we tab over? Yeah, we can. Is it detecting the drive? Yes, it is detecting it. I see there's the, the SSD, so this might actually work. So, I just don't know why my mouse isn't working right now for some reason. The time and date is definitely wrong, so let's fix that. Okay. So, yes. It's, 
Don't Frankie. January. Wait. Hold on. Tab. I can't easily set this. January. How do you? Okay, there we go. January 13th of 23. And it's 9. Well, the city. 920. Yeah, 9.22, that's the time. So let's see if I can, I'll just exit. That's weird how it kept going on, off, on, off. Maybe that was from the CMOS. So our CMOS might have went bad in the computer, potentially. The system kind of sounds bad. Well, I mean, it's booting. Or at least attempting to boot. Maybe this will work. Although it's going really slow. Come on. You can do it. Please boot. Oh, great. An accessible boot device. Oh, no. Maybe we have a setting in the BIOS wrong. Um, F2 or F1? I always forget. Please, go to the BIOS. Maybe my mouse will work now. No, it does not. For some reason. Uh, so, where's the, like, SATA? This is probably why. A-H-C-I, I believe, is what it needs to be on. Either that or A-T-A, but I'm pretty sure it's A-H-C-I. That's probably why our system was refusing to boot. I didn't think of that. Oops. It gets mad if you have the wrong thing set. That was probably the cause. Because it looks like it's booting now. Just maybe. The Dell logo's gone. Yeah, it's booting. Applying computer settings. It's not connected to the internet or anything since I have all the VLANs and stuff. I don't want that getting messed up. It's not going to get an internet connection in here. So I didn't hook up the internet. It's just taking its time, but that's normal. Well, while that's doing it, let's check the fans and stuff. While it's doing that, let's just see. How are the fans and stuff doing in here? They're spinning. The GPU I know is working since I'm connected to it. Everything looks good. I think it's just loading slow because it's not on the internet. Yeah, we're at a login screen. Control D. Does the mouse work? The mouse is not working for some reason. I cannot click. I, I don't know if that's because it's not connected properly or what. But let's try and like unplug it and plug it somewhere else. Maybe some of the ports went bad. Yeah, it's working now. Maybe that port went bad. Okay guys, so we are now logging in. All right, we're in. Obviously we don't have an internet connection because I don't have it connected, but it's up. I bring this over. Where's our system? Still detecting all of the 32 gigs of RAM. And our SSD. Let's 
seems that it's detecting it. I just don't have the storage drive in, so obviously that's not going to show up. If I open Crystal Disk Info, this previously would not open on the server at all. It opens fine. And the drive's obviously good. Let's actually check the event viewer, because... I want to show some of the errors it was getting, but also see if there was any more that I wasn't aware of. Because this thing was given all kinds of errors when I checked it the one time. The ones from today probably don't really matter. They're not, like, these probably aren't that important. I want to go to when I shut it down. Yeah, here we go. Because this is when I shut it down. That's when I powered it back up, I think. I know that's, yeah, that's now. So here was an error. But that's just a service terminating. I don't think it's that big of a deal. This is an error that I kept seeing with the disk, but this might actually be the SSD because it's talking about, you know, blocks being retried. Yeah, this is some, this is some kind of error. Don't know if it's related. There's an error here, that's yeah, the same one. This is when I shut it down right here. It's when I shut it down. I didn't trust it, so I shut the system down. Cause I was just like, yeah, I don't trust it. Reset to device was issue. There's issues with DHCP. But I don't know if that's related. Another disk error. Another reset. Another error. A fatal hardware error has occurred. I've never seen this before. Hold on. A fatal hardware error. So it knew there was a problem. The details, okay. That's very descriptive. That is not... Maybe I'm viewing the wrong thing. It's saying that it had the air in here. The data section. Event data, but it's not descriptive. If anyone knows, because... Well, maybe I have to scroll. Yeah, that's just not very descriptive. Another disc. Another service. Probably when I tried to RDP into the system and it wouldn't work. Another DHCP error. Another reset. Another reset. Another service was having a problem. It was just... What is this? It BSOD'd? Apparently the system blue screened. I'm gonna look that up. Apparently it blue screened. That might have been when I restarted it. Cause I know at one point I tried restarting it and I think it blue screened from that. Well, isn't that nice? Another one? Or is this the same one? I think it might be the same one. No, it is the same one. Another DNS error. But I won't say those are that big of a deal. Because they're just DNS. Oh, boy. Rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. Yeah, because it crashed. It did 
it did generate a dump, so I can get blue screen view. IO. Yep, a disc was removed. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was my storage drive. Oh boy. This is me shutting it down or restarting it. More disc errors. More DHCP errors. Unexpected provider failure. What is this? Well, it does have to do with virtual disk service. More of the same thing. Fatal hardware errors occurred. And again, it's not going to be descriptive. But it was just having so many issues. This is basically just the same thing. This was going on for a while. But my question is how long? Maybe the disk related errors is when I tried accessing it. More fatal errors. Let's just let's just keep scrolling at this point and see when they started. These are just still DHCP, so I don't think it was doing it here. It's when we started getting that one error. I don't know if this has to do with anything. I don't think this has to do with it either. This has no errors yet. It's a, it's, oh, it's not a warning. Okay, this is where it started happening. So on the 7th at 8.23 PM is when the server started going haywire. And this was the result. Just and I think the disc was when I was trying to access the disc. So. There's an, wait, there's another one. The dump file failed? I don't think it's still doing it though. If I scroll all the way back, when was the first disk related error? That was during it. If the first error was here, the first disk was probably when I tried accessing it. So. 10:59 p.m. Gonna have to end the video in a minute as I have some chores to take care of, so I might have to record another video later. But by the looks of it, yeah, the first I/O error was at 11:03, but the first disk error was at 10:59. I'd have to look back at my screenshots and see the exact time I took that one screenshot, and I bet it's gonna be 10:59 or 11:03, most likely. I'm not sure which one, but. If it, if, I had, if it had just started having issues, then again, it had issues even like at 10.55 as well. It could have been that too. I'll have to look back and let you guys know, or I'll probably put like a caption. But it was also happening even before then. 10.06, 9, 8. And I know it around 8, I don't think I tried accessing it. So it was having issues before. I'm guessing the disk error is probably when I tried accessing it. But for the meantime, let's actually go back to it again real quick because I don't know why I closed it. It seems to be doing fine now. Then again, I don't have the storage drive connected. But it's just normal errors because obviously I don't have internet. But I'm gonna shut this down for now and mess with it later. So other planned. I'm just gonna shut this down normally. Everything looks like it's running fine. I'm not sure though if that other SATA is damaged or not. 
I'm not sure if I'll put the drive back in or not. I'm gonna still think about it. I might do some work also off camera because it's just hard for me to record and I might let you guys know what happens, but I'm just gonna shut this down, put it back up for now, and I'll probably make a video later on it since I won't be able to for a little while right now since I have to do other things. And also I did start school again, so I'm gonna probably be more busy and not have as many uploads after this. Just a warning. So, the server just shut off. I just heard it turn off. So, I'm gonna stop the video here. I'll probably add on another video for future updates. All right, guys, so the clips you saw was on January 13th. However, a few days later, which happened to be January 16th, I pulled it back out because I wanted to do an experiment and also just to test the server more to make sure it's completely working before I put it back in production again because after all that happened, you know, I wanted to be sure as well. So I put a hard drive in it temporarily that I was gonna use to experiment around with the server before I did anything. And I tried powering it on and sure enough, I got no output at all. Like it was dead, it was not displaying anything. The system was on, but it wasn't displaying anything on the screen whatsoever. And even pushing the power button did nothing. I had to hold the power button just to get it to shut off again. And after turning it back on, still nothing. And I did notice that the hard drive activity light was blinking in a pattern, which I'll show you guys the video I took of it now. All right, so that's what it did. So anyway, I decided, okay, well, let's just take the GPU out and clean it again. So I took it out, cleaned it. Then I put it on the bottom slot again, which is where it was. It still didn't work. So then I'm like, hmm, maybe I should put it back in the top slot. So I put the GPU back in the top slot, still did nothing. Then I tried putting in the SSD out of curiosity, which I was expecting to not do anything. Sure enough, didn't do anything. And also the same blink pattern happened with the SSD, just like the hard drive. So then at that point, I also noticed that the system would power cycle, like it would just shut off and turn back on after like a minute or two if I left the system running which was something I noticed. So I was like wondering what was happening and even hooking up a keyboard like numlock wouldn't do anything. It's like the system was locked up or something. It's like it was trying to post and then it would lock up. Like it was so weird. And also I noticed that when I didn't have an SSD in or hard drive in that hard drive activity light wouldn't show any activity at all. It wouldn't blink or anything. So it knew if I had a drive connected. That's one thing I noticed. But anyways, after all this, I decided why don't I get another GPU? So, you know that Dell Inspiron 570 I have? It has a dedicated GPU in it because it doesn't have integrated graphics. So I was able to pull the GPU from that system because that has a GPU in it. I wasn't able to get it in at first. I later found out it's because something was bent or something. I don't know. But I did end up trying the GPU from the server in the 570, which believe it or not, of course, it works. So that proves that the GPU was not the fault because the GPU from the server worked in the 570. I did later get the GPU from the 570 in the server, which obviously still didn't post. So pretty much confirmed that GPU was not the issue at all and that it was some other issue going on with the system that was preventing it from posting. I decided to try it with no RAM just to see if it detected if there was no RAM. So I took all the RAM out of the server, tried to boot it. It did beep. Okay, this is with no RAM. It's blinking and it beeped earlier, but it's not beeping now. That's so weird. It was literally beeping earlier. Now it's just blinking at me. So, I don't know, it's so weird. So we obviously knew, okay, it knows there's no memory. I even looked up the error and it was saying that it was a memory error. So the system knew when there was no memory installed. The system seemed to know when there was no hard drive installed. So it was really strange. I also tried the RAM and the GPU again on the top slot, still didn't work. That's when I got the other GPU in and it still didn't work actually. So I put in the other GPU in after the RAM. So then I tried clearing the CMOS, which didn't do any good at all. It did nothing. Then I tried a one gig stick from the Dell Inspiron 570 
to see, oh, maybe it's a RAM issue and didn't work either. So that confirmed, okay, the RAM isn't the problem. It's not any of the RAM from the server. So after messing around with it for a bit, the end result was I did get a two gig stick working in slot three. I don't know why it happened to work in slot three, but I did immediately update the BIOS afterwards and the system's been working since. I put all the RAM back in and everything's fine. However, from doing this testing, the thing I wanna note is that it seems to post when you put like a different RAM stick in in a different slot. Like when I tried, I believe the one gig stick at one point might have worked in one of the slots, but then after rebooting, it stopped working again. Or that might've been the two gig stick, I'm not sure. But I know that when, when, at one point when I think I either had the one gig or two gig stick in and I did get it to post, I saved the BIOS settings and then it wouldn't post again. But then I moved the stick into saw three and it started working again. So I think it was the two gig stick that I moved and it started working. And I updated the BIOS because who knows, maybe something was corrupt, maybe something was weird, but it is on a more up-to-date BIOS now. The system has been working ever since, so that's the good news for you guys. The server lives. I don't know if it's ever going to break again, but I'm leaving the system running. I try not to reboot it or shut it down just in case it doesn't post again, because there's that chance that in the future it could just stop posting again because, you know, it's unreliable after the mouse did all that stuff in it. But, anyways, that's enough story about the server. There was one more clip I'm going to show you, which is I actually found the mouse and I got it on video. It happened to be in one of my HP desktops. It's a very short video, but I'm gonna show you guys that video so you guys could see that. Okay, where is the f Where is the f Is it back there? Where'd it go? Oh, there's popcorn on the floor. Hold on, I'm trying to find the f Where the hell is it? I saw the mouse in my office, I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's definitely probably in there. Oh, it definitely got in here. I saw it, I don't know where it went. I can't find it now. So guys, there is a mouse, and I know that there's a mouse in here, and I'm trying to find it. And I wanna catch it on video. It's in my, it's in one of my computers, I'm pretty sure. Setting that down. I'm moving this. I don't know where to put all this. <sighs> Great. Um, I need to take that piece of popcorn off for the one. There's a reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Because I'm gonna find it. Pretty sure I know where the f is. I think it's in this computer. Definitely. Oh God, it's in there. It's in there. It, help, the mouse is in the computer. I don't know. Hey, f get out. I see the piece of popcorn in there too. It's in the computer. No. Oh, it's in there. There's nothing plugged into it. There's nothing plugged into it. I want to take it outside.
I don't know what to do. Hold on. I got it on video, I think. Alright guys, so you saw that clip of me finding the mouse in the computer. If you look back at it, you'll actually see it running around. I did point some arrows to showing where I saw it in the video. However, I will say this, I took it outside after that, and I'm going to be showing you guys some pictures right now. So you guys are seeing pictures I took of it. I had a really funny photo of it just holding a piece of popcorn, and I got a picture of it, and it was so funny. And the way I scared the mouse out of there was I sprayed some compressed air and it kind of just ran out of the computer. And then I saw it run past the gate and run away. However, that's not the end of the mouse because a few weeks later I saw it again or at least a different mouse. I'm not sure if it was the same mouse or a different one, but we set up mouse traps. Sure enough, the mouse was caught. But then a week later I saw another mouse. So then I set up another trap and it was also caught. So it seems like there's more than one, and I have theory that there might be a third one. So I'm gonna have to like buy some more mouse traps or get people out here to try and find them and get rid of them because I have a feeling there's a family of mice living in here. I will say all the computers are secured. There's no way the mice can get in them. And I've also determined that I believe they're living behind a refrigerator, which is kind of obvious because it's, you know, warm back there. So that's where they're all hiding, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure if I pull that out, I would just see all of them probably. But I just want to end this video off by saying, so two of the mice were trapped. However, there has to be more than two because those mice are long gone. So there's obviously more living around here, but you know, hopefully we'll get it fixed. But at least they can't get in any of my computers anymore and we did secure it. So that's the good news. So that'll end the crazy mouse saga. I will say it was very interesting, but before I actually ended, I don't know if I talked about this, we had a theory that a mouse got into my dad's computer, which it very well could have for at least one night because there we still had mice problems and the PCIe covers were also kind of broken. And I did clean it and everything. The system completely works. There's no issues with it. I made sure that the covers were all on and everything's good. Also, the system was off at the time we thought it got in there because my dad thought he saw discoloration on the monitor. But as well as that, he thought the fan wasn't working. However, I've confirmed that everything works. I did clean his GPU as well. But I have pictures I showed of all that, but I don't have any video clips of that, so I thought I would just, you know, show that. I might actually have one, but... My dad's computer looks like it's working. The fans are spinning. I'm getting an output, so... Anyways, I'm gonna end off the video here. Thanks for watching. I know this video was really long. It was a lot to talk about, but also I've been really busy with school and stuff that I just haven't had a chance to get this video up, so I'm sorry that it's so late, but... I will try to have more uploads in March. I know February was kind of a busy month for me, same with January. So uploads really lacked during that time. But in March, I believe they're gonna be picking up. So look out, look out for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Crazy story, leave your comments below on what you think of it. And bye-bye for now.